Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys lots of different tips to make homeschooling affordable to you. Uh, before I get started, I do want to mention that this is a collaboration hosted by myself and Sharia over at Sharia Maurice. Now, uh, lots of other mamas are going to be getting together with us and so I'm going to link the playlist down below in the description bar. Make sure you check it out before, uh, you know, when you're done with this video. <laughs> So tip number one is work in literature-based uh, curriculum into your homeschool. We uh, started using Beautiful Feet books for history this past year, and while it can be a, a hefty investment, it was so nice to be able to just gather the kids, teach them at the same time, and not have any worksheets that I have to worry about. So the way that ours works is we get this teacher guide that will tell us what book to read uh, on what day, and then it will give us discussion prompts. It will sometimes um, recommend doing a field trip or a project or watching a documentary or even doing a research report. And I love it so much because, you know, as we go throughout the years, my kid, I can use it over and over and over again with the kids. And then if you have babies or toddlers or you're still growing your family, you can use it for years to come. And then when you're done using it, because there's no worksheets, you can turn around and sell it on one of the buy-sell trade groups and kind of recoup some of the money. So I think that that's such a wonderful thing. Uh, now I do know that quite a few of them are very pricey. Like for instance, I believe our Beautiful Feet books, um, Early American History was about $250. So it can be a large upfront cost. But there are so many ways to purchase and make it customizable to whatever your budget is. So say you can't afford that $250. You can buy the teacher's guide for I believe $30 and then you can rent the books from the library if your library happens to have them. You can purchase the books used on a site like Thrift Books, or you can check out some of the buy, sell, trade groups. And so it doesn't have to be that very large, you know, price tag that you might see on some of these um, curriculum companies' websites. There are different avenues that you can take to make it, you know, fit more into what you're able to do. Tip number two is group subjects you guys like I love group subjects so much they take the stress out of teaching multiple kids um, and one of the best things that you can do for your homeschool that I really truly believe <laughs> is group together whatever you can because this not only saves your stress levels but it saves your your money so instead of buying you know for us we do Bible history and science together and this year we're going to be doing geography together as well so instead of buying two different geography curriculums you know one for kindergarten and one for fourth grade and then the same thing with science and history and Bible Bible, that could get you know that could become a very hefty bill so instead we group those together and then it's less money that we have to spend and also less time that I have to spend with each kid teaching essentially the same thing but out of different workbooks so that's a wonderful option for saving money tip number three is buy used whenever you can um, whether that's curriculum or reading books or even resources Amazon is such a wonderful place to check out used items um, a lot of the times they will have things coming from Amazon warehouse so whether that was something that was on display or something that somebody purchased and then they didn't like it for whatever reason and they returned it but it's still like in good condition uh, they'll have it for like a, a pretty good discount <laughs> so whenever you're purchasing something uh, check it out because it'll usually say like you know being sold for $15.99 and then below it if it's coming from Amazon warehouse it'll usually say like used for $8.99 so I've gotten a lot of our games and a lot of our books that way and it has saved us quite a lot of money now the only parameters that I have when I do this is that I always get like new or um, I think it's like a very good condition so that way you know I can just make sure that whatever I am buying it's coming in good condition and it's not like ripped or broken or 
you know, highlighted all over the place, anything like that. So check out used whenever you can. And that goes for curriculums too, because not all curriculums are workbooks that you write in. So if you're using something like a textbook, then you can, um, you know, check and see if they have that for used and purchase something that, you know, even if it's a little banged up, it's still, you know, in good condition, it's legible, and maybe it's something that saves you a significant amount of money. Tip number four is cashback apps. So the one that I really like is Ratican. Uh, I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. It's not sponsored or anything. This is just something that has really helped us to save money and even earn a little bit of money. So the way it works is uh, say you you're gonna make a purchase from Mel Science. You see if they're giving a cashback option on Vratican, and then it takes you to the Mel Science website where you can purchase whatever you want. It doesn't change the price of anything. And if Mel Science is doing a separate like promo code, you can even use it when you check out. And then once you check out, the cashback offer goes to your Vratican app. And then um, every three months they send you a check as long as I think you're over like $20. So using this app to shop at places that you're already going to shop at and you save money has been so nice because not only am I able to like still use promo codes with wherever we shop, but I get a like quarterly check in the mail and I think our last one was like $80. So it's really nice because you can even use it at places like Walmart or Target or Sam's Club. I've used it at KiwiCo and Mel Science. It's been so nice and um, yeah, it's just an extra way to save money. So I think their current promotion is if you sign up with the link, you get $30 off when you make a qualifying purchase or not $30 off, but you get $30 added to your Radican app. So check it out if you're interested and save some money. <laughs> and tip number five is stick to a budget. You guys, I cannot stress this enough. Homeschooling does not have to be expensive. It's going to be as cheap as you make it or as expensive as you make it. So maybe you're a one income family and you're thinking like, oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You don't have to do it expensive. If you go to a curriculum website and you see that before they even get down to the price, they're already saying like, oh, well, when you compare it to a daily cup of coffee at Starbucks, it's really this much money. Turn around and go. That's going to be super expensive. You don't have to go with that curriculum. Now, maybe that curriculum is going to be something that works out for your family. Maybe it won't be. Um, there's lots of wonderful used curriculum sites on Facebook and you can even get some sometimes on eBay or Amazon. So it's going to be as cheap or expensive as you make it. I hope that these tips have helped you. What tips have you found in you know, making your homeschool affordable for your family. I would love to hear it. You know, let's give each other some different tips down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Check out the playlist and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again later. Bye.